Um, so we have to go to our next presenter, Ben Mackerel. Enjoy the uh, stage. Hi, let me just, yes, uh, share my screen. Hello? Can y'all yeah. see that? Okay. Hi, my name is Ben on uh, OpenStreetMap. I am user BMAX001, and today I come to you as a liaison of the American Road Geek community and our new AA Roads Wiki, the new highway encyclopedia. Now, if you have no idea what I'm on about, then you must not have seen this video that made the rounds a couple months ago. 40 of Wikipedia's most prolific editors have seceded and made their own wiki. So that's the pitch. And I'll leave the whole video in the comments because we don't have time to get into it. Um, it got featured in Slate Magazine, TechCrunch, a couple other places besides. Got a million views. Uh, but suffice to say that us rogue geeks got pissed off at Wikipedia, which was our old home. We left and we made our own site where our body of knowledge can be safe. Now, when we made this site, we saw this as an opportunity. 40 of Stop that. Uh, we saw this as an opportunity to improve upon all of the static maps that you'll see in almost every article in the top right corner of every article. Um, Min, Min Yuan, uh, who is uh, who you know and love, uh, helped us in setting up a map library system on our site. And we created our own modified form of Americana, as Brian mentioned earlier, to mimic American road atlases. Now, because of the way that map library is constructed, in order to recreate these sorts of maps, we need to overlay geodata in order to highlight the individual routes. And so we scrubbed our past of stealing from Google Maps from the internet, and we turned to OpenStreetMap to pull our data from. And so for the past year or so, a big project on the new wiki has been porting data from OpenStreetMap into Wikimedia Commons, where it can be readily queried to show up as an overlay on the maps. You can even click on the overlay to highlight the feature and display its name which is useful if you're calling collating multiple routes into one map, you can see which one is which is, has a little highlighted on it and everything. And immediately we started running into issues. To start, large swaths of the country have been neglected since the Tiger imports of 0708. And oftentimes our members have found that the Tiger data was misaligned at imports. But even when it was accurate, it hasn't been updated since, since these places are so underpopulated that it's fine to that it's hard to find any mappers for the area. That is until us road geeks started to become invested in OpenStreetMaps data. Now our, now our editors have loads of firsthand knowledge of these highways since it's a part of our culture to drive on as many highways as we can. So we've been editing OpenStreetMap to be more accurate. And since all of our information is now coming from the same source, OpenStreetMap and AA Roads Maps are both gaining more accuracy. Now you see here, user 25 or 6 to 4 has been doing loads of work on this front. His most recent work you'll see around Alabama, but he is going across the country to make uh, the map better. Now our expertise has also been deployed in other ways. Uh, us road geeks know all too well that there's a difference between a way that a road is signed and what the road is intended to be by the government that is signing it. Take, for example, U.S. Business Route 1 in Trenton. Now, you'll see here signage on the route takes the route directly into the city center from the north, but the government of New Jersey actually intends for the route to swing into the main route halfway from its start to the city center, as you see in red. Now, we found that using route relations solves this problem by allowing a ways reference tags to reference what's on the ground, while re relations will show what is intended by a government. And because we prioritize relations over ways, it gave, gave us loads of other benefits. Having a single object for a route, not having to worry about whether routes cross borders intentionally or unintentionally. And it's made querying a lot simpler. Now, you'll see uh, the query on the bottom for ways may look a lot simpler, but the query on the top is much easier to iterate over and it's a lot more foolproof. And our editors have been hard at work repairing relations. This is an editor from our administrator, Scott, um, tidying up Utah Route 201. And there are loads more edits like this that I couldn't possibly put into this uh, presentation from a group of experts that OSM has now that it didn't have at this time last year making edits to the map. Now, all of this work of porting our data and overlaying it onto the map has taken, in our opinion, far too much time. Now, it's been a year of work, but we still got a long ways to go. It's necessary for the system we're working in, but I think it seems incredibly redundant to do. When you think about it, all of the information is already baked into the base map, but Map Libre doesn't allow us to access that information, pull from it directly, 
and modify it for the end user. Now, this is where Wikipedia has its has us beat. They've set up their own systems so that when you generate the map with this little bit of code on the bottom, it'll overlay the data as long as the data in OpenStreetMap has been with the Wikidata associated with the article. Now, is this an incredibly buggy and lossy system? Yes, but they can, in theory, reduce the reams of mapping tutorials that we have on our site into just a single call to generate the map. What I'm proposing is a new mapping engine or possibly a modification to map Libre where the base layer can be extracted from and modified so that independent systems can have the same flexibility that Wikipedia system cartographer currently offers. Now I'm these a minute. Okay. Now all <laughs> of these things are uh great things to aspire towards that AA roads can bring to just OSM, but you also have to remember that the Rogi community is just as interested in highways as they were, as we are with them as they are now. Now we've been collecting information about highway development in America from old roadmaps, government archives, and old newspapers for the past two decades, and been collecting them on uh, Wikipedia, and now they are on our new sites. And in our new vigor for mapping, we're beginning to port that information into open historical map. So now something like this can be made. You'll see here the development of New York's interstate highway system over the late 20th century. Without OSM's data and without AA Rhodes' knowledge and the Rogue Geek community, none of what you're seeing before you could have been possible. Here's to much more collaboration going forward. I think great things are ahead for us. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Ben. You win the award for the most words in your lightning talk. I think you talk the fastest, it makes. Um, I'm sure there's going to be questions, so um, feel free to use the chat for that and hopefully continue the conversation.